This meeting between President Buhari and Nigeria's 36 state governors and comes at a time when over half of the states are finding it very difficult to pay their workers as a result of shortfall in their revenue, which is a direct result of poor receipts from oil. At least 18 state governors owe their workers several months of salaries. The governors were hoping they could use this meeting to seek the assistance of the federal government and the president to pay off the backlog. We requested from the president, from the president that we, uh, uh, we have done some jobs or some projects that are undertaken by the states. If the state can be able to get the fund on this money, we can be able to get relief so that uh, we can be able to start paying the, 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 the salaries, one. Two, we mentioned to him that uh, uh, most of the loan that time the states down are term loan, and most of them are within the duration of four years and seven years. So now the few balance of the loan, if it can be straightened to 20 years, I think it will give relief so that we can be able to continue the activities and salaries can continue to be paid by the, by the states. To help the states deal with the problem, the president has set up a committee to work out modalities for sharing funds in the country's excess crude account, ECA, an account where excess from the sale of crude is set aside. That account itself doesn't hold much these days, as the country has been losing rather than making excess money from the sale of its crude. What that means is that the state governors would still need more than what they are likely to get from the ECA to offset their huge areas of wages. Analysts say the governors are mainly to blame over the salary crisis. The basic thing about financial management is that a governor should know that the revenues of the state are not on a, a smooth uh, um, um, trend, that you have fluctuations in revenue, and that when oil prices get to a certain level, they are likely going to drop. So there should have been provisions for periods like this, which is the reason why the Abin issue should have funded the Southern Wealth Fund or have, should have left enough funds in the uh, uh, SS crude account. So uh, for me, the challenge we have today is as a result of lack of sound financial management at the state and maybe to some extent at the federal level. Now, the governors have been very quick to dismiss that, arguing that their difficulty and inability to pay salaries stem directly from the fall in global oil prices, which means there isn't enough money in the national deal to share among the states. One thing they are hardly talking about, at least in public, is how their poor internally generated revenue is also contributing to the problem. Deja Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.